Elon Musk, the world's richest man, has just done the unthinkable. He has finally decided to stop the use of Twitter. What is Elon's motivation for banning Twitter? Could Twitter be on its way out? Today, let's take a look at why and how Elon Musk is banning Twitter. Make sure to watch all the way to the end to find out. Too many people believe Twitter is a fading platform and that the American microblogging site is failing to achieve its goals. Despite being created in 2006, it has grown slowly in comparison to other social media networks. For example, WhatsApp, which launched in 2009, has 2 billion daily active users, whereas Twitter has only 217 million daily active users. Similarly, Instagram, a photo-sharing network founded in 2010, has 1 billion users, more than five times the number of active Twitter users. Even TikTok, which gained popularity only a few years ago, already has over 1 billion subscribers. Twitter is not only not growing, but it is also dying. The inactivity of the majority of people with popular Twitter accounts demonstrates Twitter's demise. Elon Musk wrote a tweet in response to a report by World of Statistics that identified the top 10 Twitter accounts, raising questions about whether Twitter was dying. The tweet also questioned why the most popular accounts don't post very often. Most of these top accounts tweet rarely and post very little content. Is Twitter dying? The tech billionaire wrote in his tweet. The tech genius spent some time analyzing the most popular accounts, and the results are astounding. Musk noticed that popular musicians' accounts such as Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber were inactive. The billionaire stunned the globe when he announced that American singer Taylor Swift had gone three months without posting on the platform. For example, at Taylor Swift 13 hasn't posted anything in three months, he said in a tweet. While most people post at least one tweet per day, Canadian singer Justin Bieber only posts one tweet per year. And at Justin Bieber only posted it once this entire year, the Tesla owner said in a tweet. It's difficult to understand why celebrities with large social media followings rarely post. Nonetheless, some popular Twitter accounts publish frequently. Before being banned from Twitter, former US President Donald Trump was one of the most influential individuals on the platform, posting an average of eight times each day while in office. The majority of Trump's tweets went viral, as one might expect. Donald Trump was banned from Twitter, where he had an 88 million strong following. Trump isn't the only one who uses Twitter. Elon Musk himself is a regular Twitter user. Welcome to Luxurious and Chic, where we will be showing you everything about luxury and help you experience the billionaire lifestyle. Check the links in the description if you too would like to experience a life of abundance. Hit like and subscribe for more videos like this. By the way, we've seen a few of his tweets so far. It's remarkable that the Tesla billionaire has garnered over 13 million users only two and a half months after purchasing a 9.2% stake in Twitter in April. Given that he cancelled his social media accounts such as Facebook and Instagram in 2018, the world's richest man is most likely active on Twitter. The Trump and Musk cases represent a small percentage of Twitter users. The vast majority of individuals are sedentary. The inactivity of Twitter can be ascribed to the countless spam accounts that plague the microblogging platform. This calls into question the authenticity of a person's Twitter follower account because having a large number of followers with little posts defies logic. The key reason for Musk's temporary suspension of the Twitter transaction is the spam account. Twitter deal temporarily on hold pending details supporting calculation that spam or fake accounts do indeed represent less than 5% of users, he said in a tweet. The world's richest man has made it clear that if the number of spam accounts exceeds 5%, the deal must be reviewed. In another tweet, the Tesla CEO declared that the Twitter CEO must verify that the platform's spam accounts are less than 5%. 20% fake or spam accounts, while four times what Twitter claims, could be much higher. My offer was based on Twitter's SEC filings being accurate yesterday, he wrote in a tweet. Twitter's CEO publicly refused to show proof of less than 5%. This deal cannot move forward until he does. 
Twitter CEO Parag Agrawal wrote in a series of tweets claiming that the number of spam accounts on the social media platform is fewer than 5%. Elon, on the other hand, is not convinced and has demanded that the Securities and Exchange Commission investigate the matter. The SEC will look into the Twitter purchase concerns to see if there were any instances of market manipulation. According to the records filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission, the amount of spam accounts on Twitter is less than 5%. If the SEC proves that there are more than 5% of spam accounts on Twitter, the company faces penalties. Despite his bad blood with the government agency, Musk is still engaging the SEC in a very unique way. During the TED 2022, Elon Musk did not mince words when he dubbed SEC authorities bastards for pushing him to acknowledge a mistake he never made in 2018 when he tweeted that he had secured enough funds to take Tesla private. Musk and the SEC eventually reached an agreement in 2018, bringing the lawsuit to a close. As a part of the settlement, Elon and Tesla were each fined $20 million. Musk also lost his role as Tesla's chairman. Conservatives have long claimed that Twitter's algorithms are slanted in favor of left-wing content. In other words, algorithms, which are a set of commands that assist in decision-making, play a big part in determining what appears in your Twitter feed. Some of the platform's left-wing content prioritizes issues like rights, equality, and democracy. Right-wing programming, on the other hand, promotes free enterprise and private ownership as well as socially conservative ideals. Since Musk made Twitter private, the discussion about the right and left wings has received a lot of attention. In America, right-wingers are known as Republicans, while left-wingers are known as Democrats. The Democrats have clearly opposed Musk's proposal to make Twitter private. On Elon Musk, I would say, look, in many ways, Twitter has been a dark, dark place. I hope it doesn't get any darker," said Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, a Democrat. Republicans, on the other hand, have praised Elon Musk's plan to buy Twitter. Mitch McConnell, the Republican Senate Minority Leader, calls the purchase of a Twitter a great event. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has stated that Twitter would not take political sides. For Twitter to deserve public trust, it must be politically neutral, he wrote in a tweet, which effectively means upsetting the far right and far left equally. In addition to keeping political neutrality on the social media site, the tech icon has promised to guarantee that Twitter adheres to free speech principles. Elon Musk is a staunch supporter of free speech, believing that everyone should be able to say whatever they want without fear of being censored. However, free speech does not imply a bombardment of insults. Rather, it means expressing whatever you want as long as it is within the scope of the law. When the billionaire claimed he supports free speech, most people misinterpreted him. This has forced Elon to define free speech more clearly as seen in his tweet. By free speech, I simply mean that which matches the law. I am against censorship that goes far beyond the law. If people want less free speech, they will ask the government to pass laws to that effect. Therefore, going beyond the law is contrary to the will of the people. He, on the other hand, supports a temporary suspension. This could explain why Elon decided to invite Donald Trump back on Twitter after he was banned last year. Trump, who claims to be an outspoken defender of free speech, launched his own social media platform, Truth Social. Trump's fans think he was wrongly banned from Twitter, which still allows the Taliban commander and Russia's Vladimir Putin, who is responsible for the Ukraine war, to have accounts. When it comes to encouraging free speech, Musk believes Twitter has failed. Musk will ban Twitter as its board of directors blocked his takeover attempt in addition to failing in free speech. The tech genius is sworn to do away with the board's pay, which he believes is excessive. Board's salary will be $0 if my bid succeeds. So that's $3 million per year saved right there, he said in a tweet. After the Tesla billionaire bans Twitter and eliminates their salaries, the Twitter board will be rendered jobless. Musk does not see the point in having a board of directors and administration that has failed to keep the site free of crypto spam. 
he anticipates the social website to have a very strong encryption, allowing him to accept Dogecoin payments. Twitter users who wish to subscribe to Twitter Blue's premium service will have to pay $3 per month. If the tech mogul determines that the American microblogging service has inadequate encryption that makes it vulnerable to cyber attacks, he will ban it. Elon Musk, as the owner of Twitter, has every authority to ban the social media platform. He is free to do whatever he wants with the website. This time, he has just chosen to ban it regardless. Feel free to check out our channel if you like to see more interesting videos on Elon Musk. What do you think about Elon Musk banning Twitter? Tell us in the comments. Know about the most expensive things in the world? Look inside the lives of the wealthiest people on the planet or how to achieve success in your life? Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to hit the like button.